श्री राम शरणम ममा मानस मंथन किंकर चिंतन डिस्कोर्सेस बाय महाराज श्री राम किंकर जी उपाध्याय मैसेज सेवेंटीन टाइटल रीजंस फॉर री इनकारनेशन ऑफ रावण महाराज श्री राम किंकर जी एक्सप्लेन्स हाउ डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर री इनकारनेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ He analyzes them as greed is the most contributing factor, and is compared to cough element of the body. As cough, to some extent, is essential for body functions. Similarly, greed is required for both individually and collectively. When karma is performed by anyone, it always follows by expectation of results. As long as the desires are within the limit, it is natural to have. but one must be careful it should not cross its limits a cough when present in a moderate amount in the body is not harmful and even helpful to some extent but when the same cough is exceeded it can block pulmonary and circulatory systems instead of giving any positive benefits and may even cause death finally the patient becomes restless until the cough can be removed from the body similarly is the effect of having greed within us goswami ji has used various examples from manas to prove that when greed exceeds it always brings misery in the beginning of ramcharit manas it is shown the essentiality of greed followed by excess and then misuse of it when we look further in manas it gives the impression that historical factors have been ignored For example, if someone wants to know the names of Ravan's parents, they would be disappointed. Neither the name of father or mother can be found. Instead of history, spirituality is chosen as the base of minus. In this way of presentation, it is not surprising not to find Vishrava Muni or Kaikasi as his father and mother's name, as it was not worth mentioning according to Goswami ji. instead it is emphasized that ravan was like in his earlier births it's mentioned that ravan was not as bad in his previous incarnations but later he ended up to be born as a devil in the discussion of reincarnations in manas it is revealed how a good human being converted into a worse person it is described sequentially with detailing the factors involved in conversion Along with these discussions in Ramayana we find four incarnations of Ravan which are also known as kathas or stories of four kalps or ancient periods In the first kalps katha it is said that two rudragans of or escorts of Shiv ji later reincarnated as Kumbhakarna and Ravan In katha of second kalp it is said that two guards of Vishnu ji known as jay and vijay became ravan and kumbhakaran later in the third kalp brinda's husband jalandhar became ravan subsequently while in the fourth kalp a king known as pratap bhanu reincarnated to be ravan in his next birth among these four examples contributing to the reincarnation of ravan one of the main reasons was due to too much greed if not due to excessive greed crossing the limits then a king of great character would not have turned out to be a demon like ravan during the incarnation of jay vijay time ravan and kumbhakaran had excessive ego but when pratap bhanu turned into ravan greed was again the main reason behind it maharashi explains that goswami ji is trying to warn us using these examples This is indicative of the fact that we must not be carefree thinking that Ravan was a bad person and hence that was the only reason for him to become a demon. We should try to find out in what circumstances Ravan was reborn and what factors influenced him. In those similar characteristics exist in our life then it is likely that we might be born as demons in future births. Similarly Shankar ji's Rudragan also gives us the same message. There were critics to find faults in everyone 
which caused them to be born as Ravan. In Brinda's case, it proves that if you obtain powers using penance and dharam, then it should be used for good cause. But that's not what happened. She tried to protect her bad husband Jalandhar using her acquired powers, which led to her husband's born as Ravan turning out to be her power of no use. This is the katha of four kalp that we see of Ravan's causative reasons of birth. In conclusion, Maharashtri wants us with these illustrations to perform routine introspection, not to have such an excessive greed like Pratabhanu. Ninda or overly critical of others like Rudragan of Shivji. Super egoistic like Jai Vijay and misusing her divine powers by Brinda. All this contribute towards shaping our next lives, cautioning us not to be end up like Ravan. See you later with another message of Maharashtri. Jai Siyaram.